Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Rick Aaron. And I'm Emily Flores in for Emily Clark. Today, a huge development this afternoon. The Miller family is selling the Utah Jazz. Yeah, the late Larry H. Miller and his wife Gail purchased the team for $22 million back in 1985. Now they're selling a majority interest for a reported $1.66 billion. There's no question that we have had a long and rewarding journey these last 35 years. Today is a day I have never been able to imagine. It's almost impossible for a generation of jazz fans to imagine either. The Millers relinquishing control of the team and the Thank arena you, they Mr. built Sir. for it with a sale pending to 42-year-old Ryan Smith, the co-founder and CEO of software company Qualtrics. I grew up watching the jazz. This is the team I've cheered for. I played junior jazz. Like I dreamed of playing for the jazz, but that didn't work out. I believe Ryan and Ashley embody the things that we as a family hold dear. They are absolutely committed to keeping the jazz in Utah. Mrs. Miller, who three years ago created a legacy trust to keep the team in Salt Lake City, called this a huge decision. She thanked her family and her employees before her thoughts turned to the jazz fans and her late husband, Larry, who was passionate about the team all the way up till his death in 2009. I also want to thank Larry for making this absolutely remarkable journey possible. We love all of you and we care about all of you and we appreciate your support all these years. Very emotional. Dana Green now joins us with a look at the history of the Utah Jazz franchise. Dana? Rick, it's safe.